we had the storms on Friday here in the rest of the UK. It's caused carnage with the trees here though. And then winter arrived. Welcome back to the channel. Out again from the Belting Mooch, and this time we're back up Coniston. And we're going to do a now to centre Coniston and then on to the first ever mine we went into. But spoke to all our interesting mines. We're just heading up to uh, Walnut Square Car Park now. It's about 4 30, so not sure what time we get to the summit. So we're going to take a slow plod. Back with you when we get to the car park. Right, we just got to the top of Walnut Square car park, which, if you're used to using this now, is a pain display. It used to be free. Once we got up here in the car, anyway, bad enough on foot. Wind's whipping up a little bit here now, and we're going to get some gloves on. And when we get to the bottom of the track, we're over the course, and we'll be back with you. Oh, we're going about. 15 minutes from the car park now. Up the path from Walnut Square car park. Doing the anti clockwise route. Just give you a little bit of footage of what the conditions are like. A light bit of snow underfoot. A bit breezy. Not too icy yet at this moment. I'm sure that'll change when we get onto that. Steep rocky stuff a bit later on. So be back with you when we get up part way up to the uh, the mountain. Right, made it to the mine ruins. Conditions are worse than last time. Wind's a bit bad. Gonna get behind these buildings here now. Get a bit of shelter. I say we found that mine. Stash our stuff. There's one. That definite long tunnel we could take them down even, couldn't we? Yeah. Uh, that, and then let's have 10 minutes walk further on and see what conditions are like. Yeah. Yeah. It's the one where it's got a big plank across it. The wall. Inside, isn't it? Yeah. That's uh, here. Yeah. So we're going to get in there. Stash our bags. Not the day back, go a little bit highest, decide whether we're going to the summit in these horrendous conditions or whether we're just going straight to uh, the mines. Uh, may as well show you down here while we're here. I think, I can just see there's a tent down here. Right, we've stashed our bags in a cave up here and we're going to carry on a little bit higher up with just a day bag, see what it's like, see if we can get to the summit tonight or whether we do it tomorrow. If we don't decide not to go up to the summit, we're going to head straight to the uh, the man that we're going to be camping in tonight. So I'll be back with you in a bit. We carry on as far as small water at least, which is not too far, far much further ahead. And then we'll have a quick look round, see if we want to do that zigzag path up to the summit. Right, 
Right, so we are uh, at Small Water. Just to take a walk into this now before we uh, go up the incline path to the summit. I think so, yeah. It's uh, it's, it's only about half six now, isn't it? I'll get as close as I can to edge. Right, not much shot see beyond it, Jack. Look, trust me, that there is small water. So we're just going to backtrack a bit and then go up the incline to the summit. Right, we're up that last ascent going to the summit. Conditions are not any worse up this bit as we're getting higher. If anything, it's easy because it's less trodden. Got fresh snow stepping. So, looks like we're doing this summit tonight. Getting back to the cave where we stashed the bags. Get back up to the slate mines. Let's get inside, get camped up. Get the brew on. Get a brew on. We'll be belting. Ready. Up there now. And on that ridge. Just up there. That's where this summit is. We just. Probably can't make it out, but just there. That's the summit. We'll get up there. Take the wind. Oh. Quick drink. A little bit of bite to eat and let's get back down. It's raining this way, isn't it? We'll come up for a more jaggy path. Should have Yeah, I thought it flattened out near the top. Right, we've arrived, we've done it. First night summit in snow. That's a good day now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. You go. That's actually where my profile picture from my YouTube channel is from here. Three, three years ago. Right, we're at the summit, really around this little windy up here. Just gonna get out the wind, have something to drink, a little bite to eat, and we get straight back down. It's pretty clear tonight, really windy. Let's do a quick 180. Too cold be hanging about, so I'll switch off and down, be back with you in a sec. Almost back down there to small water. A little bit eventful up there for a bit, spin drifted eyes. Eventually got back down. Yeah. Finally made it back to the man where our bags are stashed. So we're going to have a few minutes here. It's nice and warm in here, out the wind. Uh, and then we're going to head up onto the slate mounds. Scrambled up for the next bit to Mosshead. And then tomorrow up there, we're going to go to Spree on Cop, and that was the first man we ever went in. Uh, and then we dropped down into this. Check the tech for our signals. You know it's been cold here. Right, well, let's get in, get up to the top level. Been in here many times, but we've never been in a situation where snow's blown inside. And uh, we've got loads and loads of icicles. Hanging inside some massive ones, about six, seven foot. 
So we're going to set some cameras up and get some decent pictures of this lot. Yeah, a bit, little bit tricky to see these ones so they're so clear. I think you can see them there now. I'm just You camp on the low section of the if that's wet, possibly it will be. We'll go a little bit higher up. known dry area. Rear, we're up in the upper, upper level because it's drier. And just an indication of how cold it is. Maybe you can pick that up there. The Lucas Aid's turned to slush. Lucas Aid slushy. So that means that probably the water is as well. Right, going to get a brew on in a minute. A brew, something to eat. Come back round and I'll show you around. We've got a fine log in. Just batten some wood there for put on after. A little bit more over there and another fire log. It's half ten now, it's probably, it's probably one of the later times we've arrived for a camp. So, two or three hours, get some steaks on after. Just had a brew, just going to have another one in a pot noodle. Proper tilt at bone after that to uh, summit journey. And then uh, I think we'll get some podcasts on and downloaded a couple of uh, West Country tales, I think they're called. Yeah, yeah, Paul told me about yeah, so we're going to have a look at them after. Right, three times. Oh, the other pot needle. There's a couple of steaks each here. Should bring their legs back to life tomorrow. And have these, I think. Maybe have a brew. Uh, and then it's sleeping bag down. Right, we've tried some of these rockets in some smaller mines, but I think this one. This one's vast enough for it to work really well. Let's go for it. You set up now. <laughs> That's the best of that. Gone, aren't yeah. It? You got a fair way then, don't you? Yeah. Pocket number two. And we're aiming for an hole in the wall there. Dick will get it. Here he goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just missed that, didn't it? You just want to be a shade, are you? Right, change your position. And we're aiming now. Is that the is that the ledge? Yeah. Oh, I think it's higher up. Oh yeah. I don't know. That's that's pretty. Oh. 
Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this small one first, and if we need to adjust, yeah. we adjust. Right. Whoa! <laughs> Pot on that one. <laughs> <laughs> this little bit of a entrance here with these icicles some of them out of thought actually Whoa, it's hard to tell yeah look how far the snow's drifted in here yeah someone's fell apart look yeah Some more falling now, so it's it's thawing. Oh, yeah. yeah, so we'll get a poundy with icicles. God. Look at how treacherous that is. But try and get over. This next bit's mental, Paul. You're literally stepping onto your ice. Last night. So when we get onto this crisp snow. Right, back out. Looks pretty. Well, looks like it could be pretty misty out here. Grizzly cold day today. Right, so this is the first ever man I went to a Paul had seen. I think it's Nigel Wilkins video. Thought it might be someone for look at when we came up here. So we came in here, went in Mosshead, and that was it. We was uh, hooked on mines after that. So on that day, we knew to head to that telegraph post. Hopefully, it's not going to be too waterlogged in here.
just approaching the entrance and I found out how waterlogged icy it is. Yeah. Oh, it's proper warm though, isn't it? Right. We uh, should be okay for getting in this one. Can be a couple of inches in water this at times. Been in here about two, three times maybe. Some mad dangerous ledge which for the first few trips we didn't know where I it was. And we didn't know that it's actually overlooks Moss said. So this is the first man we ever went into. You can see it splits off into two little tunnels. They don't go mega far. A bit of an unremarkable man, really, but this is what sparked all the interest off in coming down this, these kinds of places. I'll take you over to the left hand side first. <coughs> Down here there's a bit of a metal spark sticking out of the ground. It sure could do a paint in yellow. Just uh, just ready for you to fall over. I don't think you'd fall over and end up over the ledge, but. So we get to a ledge here, and it's about 200 foot deep that, to the bottom of Mosshead. So we're actually looking into Mosshead, these two mans interlink. And just over to our left there, I think you can pick it up. There's kind of a, a drift going through a large pillar. So that is the, the left hand side. So I'll get back to the start and I'll take you down the right hand side. So back at the beginning, we'll be doing the right hand seam. There's a little tiny man this but came in it, went into Mosshead after that, and that was it. We was out forever, I think. In three years of uh, most of the camping trips now since the rings mines. So you've got a big set of ladders there that take you up to a water tank. I think they're a treacherously slip there. I don't think I've ever been up there yet. I might just do that today, see how it is. And then we come to another section that is overlooking my head. A bit smoky, but uh, that down there is the walkway. We come under, under our feet here, we come under a tunnel and out and into this. And that takes us up to the ledge where we camped last night. And from there, it then goes up a little incline into a cavern and to the left hand side of that there is another ledge that overlooks Mosshead. I think we've been here several times before we find out that these two mounds interlink. You can't get from one to the other I don't think.
Yeah, so that that cavern, that's as far as that goes. Still got some of the winching systems on the roof there. Set of wooden ladders that have been up here at pretty reasonable condition considering. Don't know how old they might be. just not going down there to the bottom because it's way too much of a drop but that's another ledge and the big pillar to the left hand side of that and that's where they all go through from the other first ledge that we arrived at and this is Spion Cop right we're going to get back out of here get back down and that's uh, this trip finished with. And on the way up yesterday, absolutely treacherous the road to Walner Sky Car Park. So we want to get down there before it goes dark. And hopefully it's melted a bit because uh, at one point I was slipping backwards. I got asked what kind of lighting we use down these caves. I think it's when we did the Oz Crag one. So. First one I bought was this power fix. <clears throat> I think it was from Lidl or Alda. Ten watts. Does about five hours that. And it's a really solid metal construction. I've had that probably four years now. And it's good that you get a good five hours out of it. Then I invested in a gimbal. DJI Osmo 3 and to the bottom of that I fastened my last torch which is this little one from Lidl dead lightweight comes with a bracket so that you can put it on a stand and it stands up we took that off and then through that all there uh, fasten that to the bottom of the gimbal that's 10 watts and you probably get most about an hour and 40 out of it so it's a case of switching it on and off as you're videoing but pretty bright, actually brighter than the other one and then head torch wise so head torches use these Armrill, I think is the name of them. Yeah, a good three, four hours out of it on full brightness. It's got a secondary brightness and then it's got a flash function. Rechargeable. With a couple of uh, lithium batteries in there. I've probably been using them for about three years now. Mine's been faultless. Uh, Paul's had a couple uh, it's had a problem with, but so mine's been absolutely faultless. The batteries keep filling. Yeah, so that's, that's the lighting that we use. I'm going to invest in another torch for lighting some of the big caverns. But uh, when I get that, I'll show you what that is. Right, power down now. Kind of losing the ice, thank God. It's kind of thawed over now and started freezing again. We're just hoping that road from the Walnut Square car park is thawed out as well. Be back with you when we get down to the uh, the flat walk from the bottom of this uh, hill to the Walnut Square car, car, car park. Back down, just approaching the Walnut Square car park now. That's thawed a bit. So I'm hoping this uh, this walk down is not as treacherous as on the way up. I don't go into some mad slides again.
does look like it's thawed out quite a lot because this was just sheer ice last night. Spoke of it too soon here. It's thawing. These soles on these boots I've got on just rubbish it ice. I told you the rubbish these boots. Wait. So what I did last night, only for about six foot. I think it's just a little stretch on this bend that's kept the ice, hopefully. I hope it's not like this on the really steep bit as we go down to where we're parked. Yeah. Hmm? I think we're off it now, thank God. It's looking okay, but the rest of this now, get back down to the car. I think we're calling for some eight on way home. No. Yeah, there is a little bit of a man down there actually that we've seen on a video before. Yeah. Just the, no, it's only dead short fall, I've seen a video. That's best done not way up sometime, when you're fresh. Yeah. I've seen a video of that man actually, it don't go that very far and there's loads of rubbish at the back of it. Thankfully this road is better than it was last night, otherwise I don't know where we got, got down here. But uh, we're going to get back to the car and uh, get some eat on way back. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.